Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 22nd of May 2018. So the first thing is uh, we see a bit of buying in the pound, but uh, blocking this all the way until we get to here is the 20 bar average. You can see there moving the market lower through the support two, and once you get through the support two, 80% of the time the market will find support, which it does at uh, the 134.50 level you can see that there and then eventually uh, after testing on uh, quite high volume there uh, certainly higher than the previous bar and also here you'll see the market then move back up towards the uh, S1 and then uh, we get a, a sell signal but uh, unfortunately we're already down at uh, the S2 level so the chances of this one moving lower are pretty slim uh, for the reasons uh, I just said that uh, we've already gone to the S2 level and therefore uh, price is uh, still uh, finding support down here and uh, also of course uh, we're going to be in the 76% area uh, of uh, here as well if you go from the low up to the high you'll see 76% so not only did it have to contend with the S2 it's got the uh, 76% and the psychological level there uh, as well and you see the entry price just sitting there so three times the market came back to it uh, before prices moved higher and we're going into the afternoon uh, as well US uh, dollar uh, on stream as well uh, very late uh, signal daily charts uh, we didn't uh, get down to the 76 percent yesterday we do have the lower highs though in place there and i just want to add on another couple of uh, moving averages here as well we'll putting the 50 and the 200 uh, because and in particular the 200 because it's uh, go gives you the longer term trend of the time frame you're actually looking at so you can see that we're below the 20 or 20 is below the 50 and we've managed to break the 200 and this is why we now look back here and see this sideways area the market was doing its best to hold at this level and has since failed and now moving lower so the 76 percent obviously first in line and then the 133 going back uh, a few months there to uh, 15th of january news uh, for today if anything to uh, move the markets uh, we've got uh, mpc uh, Belen Hay speaking, public sector net borrowing and inflation report hearings. That is it. There's no US news today. It's Tuesday. The markets can be fairly quiet uh, on a Tuesday, as you know from uh, many, many uh, market alerts. Meanwhile, in the Dow, this started off uh, already having gapped up, as we saw yesterday. Uh, market was uh, gapped up. Let me just go to the daily chart so you can see this market gapping up uh, on the overnight early hours of sunday morning uh, coming off slightly before moving higher now heading up to that uh, 76 percent uh, area there again i'm just going to uh, add in these uh, averages i'm spending a lot of time looking at uh, uh, developing a routine to actually assess what's going on in the market uh, which i will talk about uh, further in uh, other videos um, certainly, again, if you look at the uh, 200 bar average, you can now see why the market found support here. You'll also uh, notice uh, as well, if I just uh, do this, if I go from the low of this bar to this bar, it's also 76%. Great place to take a longer term trade because you've got uh, both the FIB and the 200 bar average there in uh, sitting here and all you need to do is to use the um, pivot points which is going to be around at the s2 level when it occurred and then you've got a great uh, risk reward uh, trade there in the moment we can also see if you look at the shorter time frame or trend of the market the 20 bar average is just breaking above the 50 there as well so this market remaining long at the moment just watch for uh, um, this area here the uh, FIB at the 76% uh, retracement there as prices try to move on and also the high of yesterday as well. So back to the intraday action. We're already through the uh, 
the resistance three uh, yesterday as the market uh, tried to uh, move higher. You can see it drives through there. Uh, you've got the professional buying. So not only have you got all of the trends by using the pivots, the averages, uh, trend lines to give you that uh, picture of what's going on, but then you can see the individual action of the institutions and traders as well. So the market uh, races off. And have, I mean, having gone through the R3, which is really pushing its look because 80% of the time the market will stop at the R2, you know that this market isn't really going to go that far, especially on no news apart from Mnuchin saying that uh, they were going to drop some uh, aspects of the trade uh, sanctions with China, which forced the market up. But then that didn't last long, as you'll see, uh, once the market broke back below the uh, 25 a thousand and fifty level the blue line the market then uh, resumed with the selling and then it tested again we're approaching that uh, s uh, sorry the r2 but we also can see again uh, i haven't drawn the symbol from the start of the session to here we're going to be in that 76 percent uh, range I'll just do that again so without the extension so from there to there, you'll see 76 and also uh, from the low in the pre-market session to here, you'll see exactly why the market actually stopped there. If I can pick the right one, there you go. And there you'll see why the market stopped here as well. So combining all of these things and then you've got the uh, minor psychological level, the R2 as well, and then the market managing to move back up. But after that, uh, we'll see that uh, it just traded sideways for the remainder of the session. But again, you can, it's amazing how you can actually see why, why the market stopped in these areas and actually make sort of predictions in advance as well. In uh, Bitcoin in the daily chart, uh, the market... Uh, Back below the 50 bar average, I've readjusted the trend channels from here across to here just to see what the market does here, if it's going to break it and come down. Uh, below the 20 average, that's red, still blue on this one. See why the market struggled up here, 200 bar moving average there as well. If we go into uh, inside the detail, you'll see that uh, another thing that I've actually observed as well is to do with the daily pivot. <coughs> And that is uh, once the market's below it, it tends to stay below it. When it's above it, it tends to move above it. And I don't mean just on the one day because obviously that's the main uh, thrust of uh, pivot points. If it uh, closes above the daily pivot, it's likely to move higher. Uh, here it comes back, but then once it breaks again, it goes higher. And now we've actually broken this. Uh, we can see we've broken the uptrend as well. Market's back below the daily pivot which means that any move back up here is going to find resistance there and theoretically move lower. Again, you would use uh, all the tools, including test bars and everything else to gauge that uh, if the market does that. But the market uh, certainly looks like it wants to have a bit of a, a run there at the moment. And again, let's just pop on some longer term averages here. And you can see that inside of... Uh, this time frame and you look at the use the 200 bar as the longer term you got the 50 bar as the medium term and then the shorter term 20 bar average so you can see that the 20 bar is coming through as well also uh, in order to get to this dp level now you can see that uh, we've got the 200 bar average in the way as well and also this uh, trend line that comes down here showing that the market's uh, broken this uh, uptrend uh, here as well. So when you combine all of these things, it's uh, amazing what you can actually uh, glean and also use in a predictive manner. You know where, where you're going to get resistance, you know where you're going to run into trouble as well. If you look at a, a longer term a time frame, like a four hour, you can do this with the Dow or anything else as well. You can see that we've been short here, even though the market got through the DP level there, and it was making it through the DP levels in the uh, up move. But as soon as it drove back through there, drove back through there, drove back through there. But now the market uh, found some resistance and some weakness. And then once it broke through in the longer term, uh, on an intraday basis, of course, four hour 
uh, the market has continued to move lower. Now it's finding a bit of support there at the DP level, uh, but it's got to contend with this uh, moving average. And again, let's just see what happens if we put on the the 50 and the 200 in this time frame. Now the 200 isn't uh, showing up there. Let's uh, see why, because it's probably still above the market. There you go. Uh, so any move to the upside from here in this time frame, then you would want to uh, look at that uh, average there as well. Keep that one in mind. So it, like I say, these this sort of thinking is really good because it allows you to actually step back, see the bigger picture of everything and then make a view for the time frame that you're actually trading in. But always keep in mind, of course, the the bigger picture, the bigger picture at the moment is that uh, we've got the market below the 20, the 50. And uh, there's a still a bit of a, a downtrend there at the moment. It's like it's resuming as it did here. It, it bounced back and then resumed bounce back and it could resume and certainly the first stop is here then there would be how I would mark this up is I would say well we've got uh, we're going to have a 76% uh, there and a 62 and uh, following this uh, I would also uh, put in uh, a zero line off this low as well so I would certainly if this market continues lower I would be watching for these uh, levels here and have a note of those by the side of me on the desk or alternatively what I could do is actually mark these up on the smaller time frames as well so for example in uh, the four hourly let's say let's just go back and um, what you can do seven seven nine two oh we could draw in because of the zero extension but the 76 percent uh, we again we could but we'd have to compress the chart a bit so 80 86 get the line tool just uh, click it on the chart and if you look up here you'll see the cursor we want 80 86 at the moment we're at 81 and as i just said you'd have to compress the chart first and then drag the chart down to uh, 80 86 which is around about uh, there there's 80 85 and i can just put the chart back to normal now if the market uh, moves lower and heads towards that level, then as it prices approach it, I will be able to see that. And I've taken that from the daily chart so I can see where the 76% is from uh, that daily chart. Okay, that's uh, we'll do it uh, for this one, uh, a bit longer than normal. But a lot of uh, useful uh, information there for you uh, to take on board if uh, you uh, wish to do so. And I'll probably do uh, a lot more of this uh, as we analyse uh, the trades as well and set up the intraday charts uh, in all of the markets so that you can see what's uh, going on. And if you have these additional uh, support resistance levels marked up during uh, the times that you're actually watching then you'll be able to see and know why the market's struggling at certain levels right that's it uh, if there's anything to report uh, i will let you know other than that uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one